Today, we are building a house in The Sims 4, but every room is a different budget. If I sound like I'm ill, it is because I am very ill. Of course, it rains whenever I want to do a build challenge. <laughs> so I have to try and clear the skies with this weather device. As you can see, I failed three times in a row to make it sunny just so we could actually build properly. Oh, four times, four times in a row. It's not working. This is honestly insane. Is this an omen for what's to come for the rest of the video? Right, finally it bloody worked. So I just built a little blue American suburban. I thought we'd go for something beige. I'm sure little Simsy would be pr Oh no, I can't say that, I'll get cancelled. I decided to go for a bungalow today, but we've got enough rooms to make it work. We're gonna start off with the hallway forward slash living room. So ranging from 2,000 to 20,000, our first random number is is gonna be 3,575. I mean, that's actually pretty small. Considering the fact, okay, that this is gonna be a living room with a TV, this is gonna be really tough. I don't think we're gonna be able to make it at all. Immediately, I'm going for this super cheap eco lifestyle sofa. It's only 195. We can only afford like a little box TV. Even then that takes up a lot of the budget. I'm hoping we've got some cheap flooring as well that we can use. Love the eco lifestyle flooring. Also, I think we're going to play it safe with beige walls. Or should we go for something different? I guess I can always change it as we go along. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to be bold. I'm going to go for a blue. I never go bold. I always go beige. But today we're going bold. I'm getting rid of this sofa as well. It's not bold enough. Although we've still got to be modest because we've got a small budget. Actually, when it comes to color coordinating things, do you know a tip, okay, that I really like? If you Google a color wheel, you've basically got to do colours that are opposites from each other. So because we've got a blue wall, it would be good to use like oranges or yellows or greens for the furniture. So I'm actually thinking perhaps this sofa would be nice. But obviously like if every single thing was like blue, green, orange, it would look a bit overbearing, which is why I think it's also important to have neutral wooden swatches as well with everything just to bring it all together. But even just having a green rug with it as well, I think brings it together. Although we only have have 1,500 simoleons left. At least we don't really have to do much with this area because it is just a hallway. It's only here we have to focus on. This sofa's a lot of money, okay, because we've got a small budget. I'm gonna have to go for the boring base game one just so that we have a little bit more money left over. I'm also using this chair from Horse Ranch. Horse Ranch stuff is actually really cheap. Also, I'm getting, I'm getting rid of the eco lifestyle ceiling light. I don't really like it that much. Call me boring, but like, I just love this base game lampshade and I use it in almost every single build. Mm, 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 mm. I'm honestly really disappointed with how base game this room looks right now, but we can't really do much with the budget. Now, you guys might find this a little bit weird, but one thing I love to do in every single Sims house that I build is I always try and make enough room for a Christmas tree because I feel like in real life, okay, every Every Christmas you've got to put a tree in your house but like where does the tree go? So I always like to imagine like a little space like over here where I could pop a Christmas tree and I kind of just leave that space empty because I know at some point a tree will have to go there. I say it has to go there but that's just the way I like to build it. Paintings are gonna cost a lot and we only have 1098 smoleons left and obviously we need some to bring this space together. I mean this horse ranch one is only 125 so in actual fact, I suppose that we could put two of them down in slightly different swatches and it works. We can't afford much, so I'm just putting some pears in this corner. Over here too, I'm really not sure. Maybe just something like a plain and white like this. It's honestly so difficult. We've only got 358 left and I really wanted to have a side table as well. I really don't want to go for this like horrific base game one, but there's just no other choice. A lot of the decorations though that came with the everyday clutter kit, they're like 10 simoleons each so we're just gonna roll with that one to decorate our build a lot more. Surprisingly these books which came with cottage living these are only actually 10 simoleons which is like ridiculously cheap. We only have 43 simoleons left. I would like a doormat. Love this one that came with cats and dogs. Now we've got eight simoleons left. What do you do with eight simoleons? Absolutely no idea. I mean this horse ranch picture is five simoleons. 
ones. Although it comes with like weird swatches. I don't know if we can use those. Although what we can do, okay, is we can get some sun cream and plop it down on here as random clutter. I know that's a bit, I feel like in real life though, people put weird things in weird places. Like it is normal. So the budget was definitely not in our favor here. <laughs> not in our favor at all, but we spent all of it exactly. It's the best we could do. Next, I want to do the kitchen. Our budget is going to be 8,758. That is a lot better to work with for a kitchen. Significantly better, especially seeming that a kitchen is usually the most expensive room in The Sims 4. I'm actually going to place a archway here going into this area, which I'm going to make the dining room just to fill out a bit of the space more. We may as well go with some nice, more expensive counters. I do love the country kitchen counters. Such a random kit doesn't need to exist, but I do love the counters that came with it. I always do this thing where I build kitchens in The Sims 4, but like I forget about a fridge and I don't consider that we need space for a fridge and I use too many counters. Not today, I've sorted it out. Although, having a look, we've only got 2,401 simoleons left and that was out of an 8.7k budget. So like we've already spent a lot of money on the kitchen unit itself. I think I'm gonna have to scrimp and save on a lot of the other things. I'm using the same floor planks as we did in the previous room, but they're in a different shade. I guess it would be more normal to have the same plank in every room, even if they are a bit of a different shade. Although I don't think the blue walls would work. We could always go for like a minty color, or we could just make the whole kitchen totally white. Actually changing it to the white, I prefer it a lot more. We could also use the same floor swatch as in the the main room so it matches a lot better. We have 1,700 left so I think we can afford a small breakfast table. I just feel like it would look nice. And now we've got just under 1,300 for decorations. Decorations and clutter luckily doesn't cost that much in The Sims 4 unless you go for the base game stuff. A lot of the base game stuff is like weirdly expensive but then the pack stuff is just not so bad. I don't know why it's like that. Doesn't make any sense. Top tip, you may have heard this one before but if you place something on a counter and you want to move it somewhere else you move the counter out the way hold the alt key and then you can just drag it anywhere and then you can move that right back in I just think it's a lot better than having it protrusively out on the kitchen side because that way you can move things right into the corners just to save space and your builds obviously with the move objects on cheap and oh my god I forgot about a microwave oops I don't want to go for like the cheap cheap option do you know what I mean if we go for the second cheapest option, hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. I forgot about curtains as well. I'm going to play it super safe and I'm going to go for the super cheap ones. I'm also changing the swatch to a pale pink just to keep it really open. So after a lot of cluttering, we've only got four simoleons left. What can you buy with four simoleons? Absolutely no idea. The only thing, okay, I've used these before. It's the only item in the game, I believe, costs one simoleons, which is these like paw prints. So I'm gonna do a cheap thing and purchase it four times, but I'm gonna hide it behind this cabinet here. So I know it's cheating to, <laughs> to hide that there, but there's literally nothing else we can do. In fact, I really, okay, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I really wanna decorate over here, okay? like really badly. I've deleted some of the counters so it looks a little bit more random but I'm hoping can we afford a small bookshelf to go in here? We have a lot of different options. Maybe this parenthood one could go nicely over here. There we go. Now we've got 50 smoleons left so now we could potentially afford a few more decorations. I mean this potted plant exactly 50 smoleons so that is absolutely perfect. To be a bit different we're gonna go for our bathroom next. It's a very very small bathroom so whatever number we choose it's not that big of a deal. 10,000 for a bathroom. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my dear lord. How is that? Oh god what am I doing? I'm about to delete the whole house. Oops. How on earth are we gonna bloody do this? That's too much money. This is gonna be the bougiest bathroom you have seen in your entire life. 
You have never seen a bathroom so sexy before. I'm telling you now. At least we can afford to use the fancy growing together bath wash. Guys, what do you call it when it's like a bath and a shower together? Is there like an official name for it? Do you know what I mean? I mean, we could always use, <laughs> could always use the gold toilet. That'd be a little bit too much, I think. But we can use the seasons toilet, which is 1,900 simoleons. That's a lot of money. I mean, we've got 5,000. 757 left so I feel like we've actually hit a lot like we've almost hit half of the budget already which I actually think is really crazy so maybe it won't be as challenging to spend all of the money as I thought obviously I understand this is one of those like indoor bathrooms which is a bit weird where there's no window like call me strange I'm always really conscious about like ventilation in the sims 4 so if I ever do an inside build like this it's called the wall vent with no particular distinction from the base game and I actually size it down and I just put it somewhere so it acts as some kind of ventilation in the house if there is no window. I just feel like it makes a lot of sense that way. Even though it makes absolutely no difference to gameplay, I just like to pretend it does. I always make my bathrooms really, really small because I find them difficult to fill. But now we've got the opposite problem. I mean, the paintings can't let us down. Surely there's some expensive painting we can chuck in here. There's a 4,000 simoleon painting. Okay, let's just clutter it normally first and then we can add weird paintings and things afterwards. I'm sure we'll find a way of spending all the money in some way. I mean, we've got a whole bathroom clutter kit full of bathroom clutter. Surely that's going to account for something. I mean, we may as well go for a slightly nicer light, seeing we can afford one. That one was only 50 simoleons. This light right here is the most expensive, smaller looking light. So I guess we'll have to go with that. Maybe, okay, I'm going to put some little plants over here too. I quite like that actually. Or do we, no, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save this space for a really expensive painting. I mean, this one, I'm going to size it down and it's 2,000 simoleons. So that's a lot of the budget gone. How do we spend that much money? <laughs> what do we spend it on? I feel like we're going to have to do another painting, aren't we? I mean, this one here is 1,590. If I size it down really small, this is the smallest it will go because the original one is so big. Maybe, okay, maybe if we put it up here. I've just taken this jazzy painting and I'm gonna pop it underneath the other expensive one. So we have three expensive masterpiece paintings in here, of all things. I'm chucking down these little plants on the floor here, just to fill up the space a little bit more. We've got four simoleons left. That is really perfect, actually. Although, again, nothing is worth four simoleons, so we are gonna have to go with the cats and dogs paw print and hide them behind the kitchen sink. So basically, just don't pull this sink away and you won't have to know. So we're down to zero simoleons. That was like the toughest one yet. I'm sure it was. Next, I want to do the main bedroom here. This one is going to be 9939. That's a, like, that's a lot of money too. Although saying that, we're doing a full-on bedroom. So maybe it isn't that much money. I'm not going to get my hopes up too much. Although I definitely think think we have a lot more creative freedom now to kind of just do what we want to do. I did put in a space so that we can add a closet so at least we got enough money for a closet otherwise that would have just been an empty space. And either way you know I just feel like a bedroom like if I had a bedroom in real life I'd want it to be as open and fresh as possible. I wouldn't want to clutter it up too much with too much stuff. So I'm gonna try and keep it modest even though we actually have quite a lot of money. I must say I really love this dresser that came with Growing Together. I did say in my original Growing Together review that I wasn't the biggest fan of the PAX build stuff, but it has grown on me so much. Growing Together is some of my favourite build stuff ever. Never thought I'd say that. I always feel like with curtains in The Sims 4, I feel like there's so many, yet there's never just the one curtain that you want. Do you know what I mean? Like there's never just the one thing you really, really want or need, and you've just gotta go for something that you really don't like. I feel like they need to release a curtains kit. I don't know how anybody else feels like that, but I genuinely think they should. And I think they should include like some open blinds, closed blinds, tons of different curtains for every single size. I just think it would work out really well. Now, I really don't want to go for the same wooden floor planks in here. I think we should go for a carpet in here. I do like the Plumbella one, but like the swatches are awful. I really wish it had better swatches, but we can make do. I might actually go for a brown wall in here. 
Also, we actually have enough room for like a proper nice TV in this room. So instead of watching TV in the lounge, my ugly crusty lounge, I think they'll be just all watching TV in the main bedroom, just because obviously it's a lot better. Now, in terms of the overall space, as I said, I really wanted to keep it quite clean, but we have this big open space over here. I mean, we could put a desk in the main bedroom. I feel like a desk would make a lot of sense. I mean, we could have used a vanity table. I feel like a vanity table would have been a little bit dramatic for a house like this. Just a desk with a laptop is a great way of using up a lot of the budget. We've got 1,377 left. So we still got quite a lot of money left. Not worried about the budget in the slightest, but I'm just conscious I really want to keep it quite open plan. If you've seen my build videos before, you know like I'm really not the biggest fan of over cluttering. I know a lot of people, they love the clutter. I'm not a big fan of clutter. You know that Marie Kondo show on Netflix, like if it doesn't spark joy, I don't want it. So I, I don't even like in real life, I hate clutter at all. But I do like plants, so we will have a lot of plants in here. Also, I'm not against like realistic clutter. Like, like, I think realistically, you know, you'd have a flask next to your bed or at least some kind of water bottle. You might have magazine or book stack there. So I'm not against having clutter if it looks like it belongs. It's just like cluttering for the sake of cluttering, like it's not for me. Or we can put some glasses down, like my little glasses. Everyone keeps commenting on my glasses in my videos. They're a little bit weird for me to wear. I'm not the biggest fan. I feel like I look a lot better without glasses on my head, but obviously I'm gonna have to use them to protect my eyes. So we've cluttered a lot. I would like to add a wash bin or a hamper, I should say. A ham a hamper. Is that how Americans say it? <laughs> A hamper. In the UK, we don't say hamper. We just say clothes bin, if you're wondering. So I've added enough clutter, I think, to make it feel natural. And it feels, I really like this. It feels really open and fresh. Probably my favorite room that we've done. We've got two spoliants left. So again, we are going to have to go with the paw prints that came with the cats and dogs pack. I was going to say my first pet stuff then. So there we go. All of our money spent. Next up, we are going to do the dining room. This one will have a budget of nine. We've got 9,000 again. I mean, we're quite lucky, but it's just we're getting the same thing over and over again. Although I say lucky, but actually for a dining room, I actually feel like ironically, we're going to spend a lot of money, even though a dining room traditionally wouldn't really have that much stuff. Obviously, it is literally a huge dining room. I would have actually made this a garage. I mean, a garage, but obviously we can't have those in The Sims 4. So it's going to have to be a humongous dining room, even though this house only has has two bedrooms. Well, actually three bedrooms, my mistake. But still, a huge dining room seems a bit dramatic. I have actually decided to go a bit overboard with the dining room and I've used the decor to the flamenco kit. What's it called? Not flamenco. <laughs> It's definitely not called, Fla is it Flamingo Kit? The one with the pink flamingo or peacock or whatever. Peacock Flamenco Kit, that's what we're calling it. I've used, I know it's very brave of me. I know that was very, very brave because it's such a crazy kit. I actually think it looks nice in this little space. It's very rare I can make this kit look nice, but I feel like we've done an okay job with it so far. So I'm just gonna roll with this and see how we get on. I'm not gonna question it. If it's working, it can stay working. I believe the kit also came with a little board like this we could use. It came with a little table we could pop over here. See, I think it's coming together nicely. Although I don't think we'll go as far as using this like mental mirror that the kit came with. This mirror, like it is pretty cool, but like you'd never use it. Do you know what I mean? It's so strange. I do like a lot of the kits in general. I honestly think kits contain the best build stuff we have in any Sims packs. I know it's controversial to say, but kits are my favorite type of Sims 4 pack, just because I feel like they come with a lot of really nice stuff. I know that's very controversial to say, it's just how I feel. It also has a nice fireplace, which I think would actually work quite well in this room. Although we're not putting the pink flamenco, flamingo, what are they called again? No guys, what are these called? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, peacocks, that's what they're called. I don't know if we go as far as 
using the bloody peacock in here. So I went a little bit overboard decorating in here. I put in tons of clutter. I changed to a dark wood flooring. I really like how the room looks so far. We have got 280 simoleons left, but we don't have that much room. So I'm thinking of using another painting. They seem to be saving our life in this video. Now we've got five simoleons left. I'm sure we can find something five simoleons. I quite like this one that came with high school years pack. I am strategically dumping this in the corner. Actually, it, do it doesn't suit the vibe at all, does it? No, we can't use it. What about this one that came with snowy escape? There we go. We can have some little pinned pictures over here. Unless we pin it to the door, we size it down and pin that to the door. That makes a lot more sense, actually. So I'm happy with that. Beautiful little room. So next up, we're doing this smaller bedroom here. The smaller bedroom's budget is going to be 7320 I feel like that's going to be pretty easy considering it's a tiny room. We're only going to have a single bed in there. I did also put another space for a closet. I do love putting closets in all my Sims builds. Just in case any gays are living in there, they want to hide in the closet. <laughs> Do you guys want to know when I came out the closet? I don't think I've ever said it on YouTube before when I came out the closet. It hasn't really been that long since I was a teenager, but attitudes have changed a lot since I was a teenager. Like when I was growing up, it was like the time where people were coming to understand it and coming to realize that gay people were just ordinary human beings. So it was like that weird transitionary phase. I think I came came out to my friends when I was about 16. It was actually like after school because I was bullied a lot in school and like I didn't want to come out in school just because of how much I was bullied. So I did it like basically as soon as we left school. In the UK you leave school at 16. Though I can't remember if I came out to my mum until I was 18. Genuinely can't remember. Nobody in my life gave a shit so I was in the closet for basically no reason. But like it wasn't hard coming out. Was wasn't that deep. Yes, you could say I had a lucky experience compared to other people, but there you go if you were interested in knowing. So this room has a bit of a spare room vibe in that it doesn't really have like a very specific kind of theme. Again, I like to keep my bedrooms quite open, quite a fresh space. I'm just not keen on over cluttering bedrooms of all spaces. It's like the one room in the house that must be uncluttered. I'm also using this rug from Horse Ranch. I know it might seem a little bit weird, but I feel like in real life, people collect things from different places that they go. And like real life houses are quite eclectic and they have different things from different designs, different spaces. So I think it's nice when you have a Sims 4 build that doesn't just feel like totally perfect. It doesn't feel like everything is where it should be. Real life houses are much uglier than Sims 4 houses. We've also used this exact same horse ranch painting everywhere in this house, just in a slightly different swatch. Just because it's the cheapest painting we've got. I mean, we've only got 55 simoleons left. Granted, I put a big TV in here. I wanted to overcompensate for the fact that we only have the tiny TV in the lounge. So at least they can rest in peace in their bedrooms or rest in peace. That was a bit morbid of me. You know what I'm saying? To be fair though, if we use a light, like it's going to use up so much of the money. So to be fair, like it's almost spent. In fact, if we use this 75 Smolian beam light, that should be fine. And then the whole room is done and we're at zero Smolians. We've got this room over here. And our budget is going to be 9,700. 782. I'm gonna go for a modern grey theme in here and I was gonna make it a bedroom but then I thought we actually need a hobbies and activities room. So I'm gonna put loads of like hobby things in here and see how we get on. So I've actually decided to turn this into like a half and half office and also gym. So we've got the most expensive gym equipment ever because we could afford it for this room over here. But then of course we've got the office here. I've gone for quite an expensive streaming PC. We've got a bookshelf, we've got a bulletin board. Also got some clutter just dotted around as well just to make it look a bit nicer. And we've got two simoleons left so you know what that means. It's time for the cats and dogs paw prints to be hidden behind. I guess we can hide them behind the desk. And there we go. Now we've got the outside to do. Didn't forget about the 
outside, it is very bare bones. So our total budget for the outside is gonna be, oh my God, 11,012 simoleons. I mean, to be fair, we've got both the back and the front to do and plants can add up to a lot of money. So I actually think we're gonna make a lot of use out of this money. Now an excellent hack for you, if you're anything like me and you're like, what do I put around my fences? Just get this base game head, size it down, all right? And just plop it around the edge of all your fences. Make them overlap if they have to. And it just makes it look a lot better, but with very minimal effort. It just means that your builds look a lot more filled and fleshed out without really having to do much at all. So I've just added some random foliage around the front of the house, including a bird box and a bird feeder and lots of lavender guys. We have to save the bees. The bees are dying out, the bees are coming extinct. This is the most important thing in the world right now. Guys, if you don't have any lavender in your gardens, what are you doing? Can I say something really dumb about British people? Like all we do is yap on about gardens, like we love them. It's ingrained in our culture that we love gardens, right? And people buy houses with these big gardens, but they have big open lawns with no flowers. And it's like, why do you have this big open lawn if you're not even putting any flowers in there? The bees are dying. We need to save them. Guys, plant lavender in your Sims builds, please. And it will make me very happy. I'm sure you didn't come into this video expecting some kind of environmentally friendly education experience, <laughs> but that's what you've got. At least with the back of the house, we're gonna be able to have a lot more fun because of how big it is. Obviously, I think it'd be nice to have a little barbecue area out here, though it feels like a bit of a fire hazard to have it back here. Although, do you know what? Tangent, but before I forget, because I always do forget, we need to do some outdoor lighting. I always forget outdoor lights in this game. I rarely ever remember it, but today I do remember it. So we're going for it. There we go. Put some little floor ones on here. Put some little ones down to the pathway in the back garden. Love that. And totally unrelated, but I think it'd be nice to have a bench in the front garden. Well, actually, no, just a little chair because it's only a little front garden. Love that. That's so cute. Back to the barbecue area, which is what I was just talking about. We may as well go full on with the perfect patio stuff pack. I use actually, yeah, I use all the perfect patio stuff here because I do quite like it. Not that this is supposed to be every room is a different pack, but that's what it's feeling like. We could even put a hot tub in here. We've got enough money for it. Should we put it, we put it in the corner over there. Although I'm going to have to get rid of the hot tub because we've actually only got 2,752 simoleons left. Even though the whole point of the build challenge is that you've got limited money, I completely forgot that we've got limited money. So back to the drawing board. I don't want to over clutter the back too much. Again, I like the idea of keeping it quite clean and open, although obviously we do need plants. I am going to plant some more lavender. We do need to save the bees. I will take that one to the grave. Very passionate about it. Little bench under the tree. Oh, and before we forget an outdoor wheelie bin. I always hate having to put these in the builds, but like you need one in every Sims 4 build, don't you really? Oh, no, the mailbox. We have to do the mail again. Like in the UK, we don't have mailboxes. We just have like a little hole in the door. So I always forget to put them in my Sims builds, but not today. We put a little bike around the back. Surprisingly, we actually have quite a lot of money left. We've got 1,787. So I guess we could do some more plants. I've just put these ones around just to fill the space up a bit. Great tip, guys. Always do things in a trio of three when you're doing plants like this. So if I go for another plant, maybe something like this. I literally just do one, two, and then do another one maybe a bit smaller, three like that. I genuinely just just think it looks a lot better. I've done this around the front as well with the trio here. I do need to change the colors of those before I forget. I've also done it over here as well. I just think it makes it look a lot better. I'm also thinking we add a couple of planter boxes around here. I guess kind of like loosely placed so they don't look perfect. Maybe, oh, do we have a bee box? That'd be a cool idea. Uh, no, we're not having a bee box. That's a bit weird. I am adding some wind chimes though. I think that'll be very fun. Maybe attached to the Porsche over here. Now we've got 72 simoleons left. I feel like maybe we can just afford a couple more plants with that money. I added a couple more plants around. Also, this little plant pot here is 10 simoleons. So by adding that, we're now down to two simoleons. You know what that means? The poor prints are coming back. We hide them behind these bushes over here. Now we're down to zero simoleons. So we've spent all of the money for our entire build. Love this little build. I think it looks great. 
great. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy the next one recommended. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.